Hey guys, welcome to Tita's Red Desk, my channel about watercoloring, arts and crafts, journaling, the things that I enjoy doing in life. Thank you for joining me in this video. Remember to smile. It's good for your health and it's good for others. And always thank God. He is great. Um, today I want to show you a product that I'm really excited to have received. Not before reminding you that if you like what I do, subscribe, like, share, comment, leave questions and suggestions in the comment section for me. If you subscribe, you'll be notified every time I upload a video and um, you'll enjoy these things for me, uh, with me. The things that I do the most on my channel is uh, videos about reviewing new watercolor products or things related to journaling and arts and crafts and drawing and things like that. I also review or flip through a lot of art books. If that's something that you're into it, then stay tuned and subscribe. Um, but anyways, thank you for being in this one. This palette I've been looking for for a while, but it's being it's sold out because I believe it was released in 2015, if I'm not mistaken, and it's sold out everywhere. However, um, eBay usually solves that problem. So I found it on eBay for a really good price and a beautiful, uh, lovely person uh, seller she sent me a few extras with the shipment she sent me um she sent me a brush um spray bottle which i actually needed and she sent me a little water container and also some extra pans and some um, magnetic tape if i want to use this on some other palettes so i really appreciate that um thoughtful the thoughtful extras i really like when i sell her those things like that just to make people happy she didn't have to um in any case so this is the palette it brings 10 colors and from my understanding these are exclusive to this uh anniversary palette Another thing that is really special about this palette is that the insert where the pants are being held is made out of porcelain, which is the best surface to mix watercolors. Um, the box comes wrapped in a plastic film, which I have removed to make this video shorter. The colors are printed here and the numbers are there. And the usual Schmincke literature in the back um, in my humble opinion, Schminka makes the best watercolor paints. I am very new to watercoloring and I am self-taught. I'm learning with books. I don't have a teacher. I don't go to class. I just get books and I practice, um, to the best of my abilities. But I've been trying a lot of different paints and papers and learning from different sources. And so far, Schminka has been the one that gives me the most satisfaction um if i have to pick a second that will be holbein and a third i've switched i it was sennelier i'm switching that to paul rubens just because i did a, le a lesson recently and compared to holbein or um schminka or paul rubens sennelier was not as vibrant as i like it for some people sennelier might be the best choice if they like those light transparent light colors i like pigments that are vibrant so that's why okay so now let's go to the palette this is what we're here for right so it comes in this box in that plastic film that i told you when you once you open it it brings this protective uh foam film and then this is the gorgeous palette schminka makes beautiful palettes unfortunately they're not um widely available in the united states um but you can get your hands and things like this uh, from ebay so it's black it's not a shiny black like most tin palettes and not even like this also from schminka which is my other schminka product uh, this is more like semi matte it has the schminka logo and it's heavy i can tell you this because of the insert it's not as light as regular palettes it's pretty heavy and once you open it you have your big wells 
over there you have eight more smaller wells and then you have this beautiful porcelain insert with the paints and the, some mixing areas here beautiful palette this is held to the metal with magnetic strips uh, which keeps it in place these pens when they when they were wrapped in paper they will fit snugly in the in the squares here in the spaces but once you remove the paper they feel a little loose the solution for that is if you want to keep them secure you can add a little glue or something there i don't suggest adding anything permanent because you will run out of the paint and then you won't be able to replace it so something that is uh, semi-permanent i guess will do if if that's important for you because once you do this those paints are not going anywhere you can flip you can do anything and they are not they're not coming out of there so anyways if that's important to you uh so these are the colors these colors are i, I think i said that already they're exclusive to this palette i could be mistaken I, that was from my research these colors are different from these colors that you get in this um this is the water tank palette by shinka so these colors are not here these colors are not there and i am going to swatch these colors for me the first time and for you and for that purpose i have prepared this um fabriano cold press piece of paper watercolor paper and i have placed the labels or the wraps in here in the same order that they came in the palette so i can have a guide i usually do that with all my palettes i see those uh, some people some artists have this so well organized and at some point i might be able to do that i don't have the time but for now what i do is that i keep them uh, like this by numbers by names and that way if i ever run out of a favorite color i can always order that color individually so let's proceed with the swatching and if you have any questions about this brush this is the skoda uh, number six which i love these are my favorite i wanted to get the raphael but they are way too expensive so not for now and these are pretty good so i'm not going to complain either so let's start thing let's start with white right it's there so might as well what you love about what you will love about schminka if you've never tried them is how easy they are to activate you literally just drop i should have i should have get my little bottle oh, next time um yes i'm going to do that so you basically just have to drop a little bit of water and the paint is basically activated immediately so sorry i'm away filling up this bottle this little gift to use right away so i'm going to spray the paint and get it to work there we go so let's activate the paints all right all set they activate right away from my experience with schminka which is another reason why I love them so much all right so my brush needs to be a little more wet okay so let's do this is called pure yellow you can see how smooth that goes there I am not checking transparency I already know that they are This is called, uh, let's see if I can read that, gold, oh my goodness, Queen Cridon gold, 
Yes, Queen of Crayon. Pretty. This one is Perennial Red. Oh, look at that. I already, I'm already thinking about a flower that I want to do in that color. Then we have a second uh, red, which is called Periline or Periline Red. Now we go to the ones on the side. This one is natural tint. Will this be a black? It's not light enough. So this is a black. So this palette does contain, um, well, it's supposed to be neutral tint it's supposed to be like a dark brown but this will be like a black to me it looks black i don't know if you can see it now let me do the other side over here which is called purple magenta Beautiful. Moving to the bottom line here, we have Periling Green. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing these names. there so you can see it better actually I'm gonna do the same thing here to make it more transparent now we move to May green I need to remove, look at that beauty there. They're trying to play already. All right, the next one is Cenulean Blue. Please forgive my French. That is gorgeous. All the colors, I'm, I'm not going to lie, all the colors in this palette are absolutely pretty. This is called French Ultramarine. I think this color is in every single palette out there. And last but not least is Blue Delft. Already dry. Here we go. Okay, so here you have the swatches for this lovely palette the ceramic insert 25th I think it's 25th anniversary it could be 125th I'm not sure I'm sorry about that 
but here are the colors here you have the gorgeous palette and as you can see if you have these if you're like me that can't afford the big palette and you have to buy the smaller palettes from Schminka, um, these two are completely different colors. The only two colors that are a little similar will be the Blue Delt, or actually no, not that one, um, Ultramarine Finest and French Ultramarine. Those are the only two that I consider to be similar from these two palettes. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can say that the Geranium Red and the Cadmium Red have some similarities there, but not exactly. So yes, if you have this palette and you can still get your hand on these, don't let that stop you. There are different colors. I hope that you enjoyed this video and join me. Um, what am I saying? Join me for <laughs> any other upcoming videos that I will upload. I will always keep on doing this. Um, it entertains me. And if it entertains you, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much for your time and God bless. Bye-bye.